Hello, welcome to the War Rogers News Channel. Thank you for watching. Alright, let's go ahead and spectate in a pinch. Orange Maniac vs. Repertory. So, we are going to be right back. Please stay tuned to the War Rogers News Channel. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is the first tournament I signed up. And uh, I actually made the quota. It's 118 out of... Uh, uh, what's, what's the number? So it's like 128. There we go. 18 out of 128. And as you can see, there's my match. And I lost uh, both the first round, but it's alright. You know, at least I, had, at least I had some fun here. So there we go. I'm not, I'm not egotistical, so I'm not, I'm not going to spectate my own match. I'm gonna let you do that at your own time. The tournament's called In a Pinch. And it's going to be Orange Maniac vs. Repertory, so we'll be right back. Please stay tuned to the World Rogers News Channel. Alright, turn number one. Blaziken vs. Uh, Flygon. Alright. Sorry if there's something else on my mind at the moment. Uh, let's just say I spilled some stuff and I'm trying to clean it up. Um... Ah, uh, there's just some droplets there. Alright, anyways. So Blaziken's gonna switch into Gyarados. There we go. And Flygon's gonna... Uh, Flygon's probably gonna do... Uh, uh, yeah, I was thinking more like Dragon Claw. I was thinking either Dragon Claw or Earthquake, but... Repertory wants to be on the safe side and do Dragon Claw. Alright. There we go. Um... Flygon's gonna switch into uh, doing his best. Gyarados is gonna switch into um, to Flygon. All right. I I hate it when I spell mess. It's like. Um, before before I taped before I taped this match, I was I was having a drink and uh, I, you know I have to shake it as you can hear it. And what happened was that I accidentally shook one of them while the lid was open. So I I'm kind of like looking all over the place to see where are the droplets and. And I want to clean that up. <laughs> so I'm sorry if my commentary is not as good as uh, as usual. But I'm going to try to commentate, though. I'm going to try to do two things at once. It's not going to be the easiest thing, but there we go. All right. Um, Dusclops. Ooh, hidden power. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> so Venusaur is going to go directly into Blaziken. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Nice. Nice. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna shake this up a little bit, and this time <laughs> I'm not gonna leave the lid open, or at least try not to leave the lid open, because I'm gonna have a huge mess to deal with. So there's the flamethrower. All right, life orb. All right. Art of War. Alright. 
bully. Double edge. Which is gonna do some recoil damage to, to uh, Tauros. It's Metagross. Alright, so what's Metagross gonna do? Sorry about that. There's, there's just like, like I said, um, I'm trying to figure out where, where I splat all of my, all my uh, stuff there. Yeah, uh, accidental. Um, no. Um, Venusaur. I'm back to the match. Okay. Now, could Repertory have HP Fire? Maybe. Maybe not. Yes, he does. And it proves fatal against Metagross. It seems almost like it's mandatory for Venusaur to have HP fire. I don't know, it just, it just seems very mandatory. Say repertory is a little bit on the exotic side. I'll just put it to you in that sense. All right, Porygon Two is going to switch into my low tick. Ooh, superpower! It's going to decrease in attack, a decrease in defense. All right. But the life ball. Um, all right, so. Uh, okay. All right, so. Gyarados. Gyarados just got intimidated by porn. I think that's one of the most funniest things I've ever said. That's probably not rated PG, but okay. Something tells me that that Gyarados's uh, spouse is probably not going to like. It's not going to like what, what it's fighting against. All right. Oh man. Ugh. Hmm. I wonder if Flygon can get rid of this this dirty Pokemon. Alright. Life ball. And my low tick comes in. Alright. Uh, okay. Earthquake. Alright. Surf is gonna do a critical, which is gonna prove fatal. Alright, now it's all left to to Orange Maniac's Venusaur, which I'm gonna be a little 
honest with you. I think that Repertory is going to win. And I'll tell you why. Venusaur... Let's just say Venusaur has to deal with not one, not two, but three opponents ahead of it. Well, opponents. Three Pokemon ahead of it. So, if Venusaur is just so happen to knock out my low tick, it's gonna have to deal with a little bit more than just my low tick. I mean, Venusaur, Venusaur, um, Venusaur has to deal with not just my low tick, but Venusaur, uh, and Flygon as well on the other side. So, Orange Maniac's Venusaur it's going to be a stretch. He can do it, but it's going to be a very, very narrow path for for uh, for Orange Maniac. Uh, okay, unfortunately for Orange Maniac, I'm going to have to say that the repertory is going to win. The, 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 there's, no, there's no ifs or buts about it. He's going to win. And there we go. Repertory took the match. Congratulations. GG. And, uh, let's go ahead and look. Alright, so Repertory vs. whoever wins this match, which is Me Mega Berry vs. whoever wins this match. So we will be right back. Please stay tuned to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Alright. Alright. First turn. Mega Berry. Vs. Pa pa Pablo. Uh, 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 yeah. Alright, so. I do want to note that. Uh, I usually say good luck to both contestants, mainly because I want to check to see if they're AFK or not. Um, Agaberry didn't really respond, so I was a little bit concerned about that. Um. But I'm glad that, that the Mega Berry was, is not AFK. Or was not AFK, there we go. Alright, so we're going to start off with Starmie, which does get hit by the pin missile. Alright. Heracross is going to do sword stance here. Heracross is expecting something. Lord Hera is going to do this. Ooh! Maxed! Man of attack. Now what? Brick break. Mega horn. Oh, yeah, this is a fortress, not a sky range. <laughs> wow. Tells me that Mega Berry is going to sweep. Ooh, Swift Choice Band comes into the rescue. That Houndoom has to be Swift Choice Band. I mean, there's no other way how Houndoom could be faster than, than plus one speed Heracross other than the fact that 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 special choice band really does help uh, increase the amount of speed that you have. All right, so I'm going to predict that, that this Houndoom is probably going to do. I uh, mean, uh, probably not flamethrower. All right, Pikachu is going to switch into Chansey. All right, something tells me that Haunter and Chansey just don't mix. Metagross. 
Okay, is this Haunter... I wonder if this Haunter is a Combine Haunter. Alright. There's Weezing. And now we know the full team of... of Mega Berry. Destiny Bonds? Nope, just, just Flamethrower. Something tells me that the Hound Dude's not going to survive the poison. Alright. Hound... Hunter. Alright. Soft boiled. All right, so substitute in soft boiled. Didn't mean to scare some of you, but um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to try to rev up my commentary just a little bit. Um, is faster than Pikachu, but Pikachu did did do its job. Alright, so Metagross is going to come in. Metagross is probably going to do a pursuit here. Haunter is going to try to do some Shadow Balls. And Metagross has successfully knocked out Haunter. Alright. So... Ooh, Sceptile. Yeah, something tells me that that, uh, that this is going to be it's going to be um how should I put it? It's not going to be a long match, but it's going to be like one of those in between matches. Like it's not a short match, and it's not a long match. It's going to be like. It's going to be a moderate amount of time. Subtile is trying to do a substitute, and if I had to guess, Subtile probably has the move Endeavor. Mega Berry is just hoping that Subtile doesn't have Endeavor. But all three of us know that there's a high chance that Subtile has uh, has um, uh, Endeavor.
<laughs> this, is, this is kind of funny, believe it or not. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Oh wow, it's gonna actually happen. It's gonna happen. It didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Alright. And GG. Pam uh Pampo uh us, I think, has defeated Mega Berry. Congratulations. Alright. Now, it's going to be, uh, I'm just going to call him Pablo. Pablo vs. Repertory for the final match. So good luck to both of you, and we'll be right back. Please stay tuned to the tournament that I was attending. Stay tuned. Alright, the final match. Pablo, I'm just going to call him Pablo. Yes, repertory for the final match. All right, what is going to happen? Well, I can probably tell you that Sky Marie is either gonna switch, uh, predicting them a fire punch, or lay down spikes. It's, it's either one of those two. Or, or Skymarine can do a counter. That, that's the third option. Alright, so Skymarine decided to go for option two, which is set up spikes. Alright. So Ursaring is going to switch into Skymarine. Something tells me that Sky that the that Starmie is gonna do a rapid spin here. There we go, I need to do the rapid spin sound. Okay. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh nice. Oh surf. Now it does lob says so Shadow Ball, so, so Starmie is feeling quite gutsy today. Oh wow. Alright. So, so Pablo is going to start off by knocking out Starmie, a key player in OU, or key Pokemon in, in OU. One of the key Pokemon is Starmie. The main key that a lot of people use is Chansey, but but Starmie is like second to it. Not not in defense stats, but just in uh, kind of in user analysis. Alright, so... Heracross. Something tells me that... that Houndoom... Yeah, Houndoom is preparing for trouble. So, what is Hera gonna do? Hera could either do Sword Stance or Rock, rock Slide. Alright, Heracross is going for the Gutsy. Just, just, just do sword stance. All right. Now, what is uh, what's Arcanine gonna do? Arcanine can do a myriad of things. Arcanine can either do a flamethrower and Heracross do an endure, or Heracross switches and. Arcanine does flamethrower. I guess Arcanine 
doesn't want to do flamethrower. All right. Sky Marine's gonna switch straight into Porygon 2. Oh wow. Thunderbolt. Wow. Alright, so Ursaring can do. I think Ursaring might do a turn. There's the Intimidate. Alright. Ursaring hits Arcanine really hard with the I think Pablo is trying his best to kind of hold his ground. Not a good idea. And I'll tell you why that's not a good idea. Because what happens if Flamethrower burns Ursaring? Then you have a Guts on your, on your hands. I'm kind of glad that, that, that Arcanine has extreme speed, because if it didn't, then, then Ursaring can just really damage Pablo's party. Alright. Pablo is probably going to use... or not Pablo, sorry. Uh, Repertory is probably going to use Surf. Alright. Thunder Wave, perhaps? Probably Sludge Bomb, right? That was a nice hit. Alright. Here's my prediction. Morning Sun, Morning Sun, Morning Sun. There we go. Repertory's gonna go directly for the Sludge Bomb. Not even pulling back any punches, predicting a possible flamethrower. Nope. Repertory's like, nah, you're 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 not you're not gonna recover today. Ooh. Arcanine is down. So now who's left? Well, Houndoom is still a pretty deadly Pokemon to reckon with.
Aha, sword dance. Ooh, low kick. Wow. Alright. Drill Peck is going to prove fatal against Heracross. So far, things are not looking good for Repertory. setting up spikes. I don't know why. Alright. Hmm. Thunder Wave is going to Ooh, nice facade. Repertory's like, hey, I'm gonna predict the, the Thunder Wave, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do this, build this facade. Wow, that did a number on, uh, on Mega Berry's Porygon. Just as things were getting hot, start getting a little hotter. a really good Porygon, if you think about it. You know, Thunder Wave, and then all of a sudden, bam! You just, you just do, you just do, uh, you continue with, with the facade. Oh, there's only like 10 recovers left, I think. Best case scenario, there's probably about 16. Best case scenario. Alright. It's probably 16. If that's the best scenario. Alright, so... Fortunately for, for Pablo, Pablo can kind of catch up a little bit. Paralyzed twice. But here's the problem. Pablo. Alright, Pablo's. Alright. Um let me get a grip on what's going on here. Let me go ahead and explain it from a simplistic point of view. Okay, so here's what's happening. So a repertory is trying to get uh, pa Pablo to do some PP stalling, and so far it's working. Repertory is trying to knock out Porygon 2, but uh, let, let, let's just say that it's not really it's not really doing much, the, the, the facade. Alright, there's the return and the paralysis. Alright. So here's what's happening basically. They're trying to PP stall each other, so that way, say, one of them does a struggle. It's pretty much a, a dead heat, pretty much. No. Alright. There's Flygon. Well, that's some good news for the Flygon. That, oh, oh, that means that, that uh, Flygon can just do superpower here, right? 
Just a bit of some advice. If you're not, if you're not setting up, or, or if you don't have a berry boost or something like that, I don't think it's best to have substitute. I'm, I'm just saying that. So that way, so you won't waste your silk scarves. gonna take the thunder wave, right? Yep, he's still gonna take the thunder wave. Repertory is desperately trying to clean or not well I think I think Repertory and Pablo There we go. Repertory and Pablo are trying their best to cling on to the match. Now I think that that Pablo is kind of hoping for for a uh, for a paralysis via Thunderbolt. Flygon's probably going to do substitute in Earthquake again. Substitute Earthquake. And Repertory completely broke Pablo's substitute. Alright. Repertory is trying to figure out how can I knock out Pablo's team from from this stance. All right, so there's a substitute. All right, facade. Actually, I think how you say it is facade. There we go. I think that's a lot better. Facade. Bam. I didn't say the D word. I I, I said bam. All right. All right. Ice beam. And paralysis. All right. There's the ice beam. All right. Ooh, 
critical. Critical barely even does anything. All right. Oh no, no, no! Both repertory and Pablo's Porygon twos are paralyzed. Would you look at that? All right. Ice beam and another ice beam, right? All right. There's Ice Beam. Ooh. Only if someone had a card. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, there's Crunch. Crunch is gonna lower down the defense. Houndoom is going to switch it to Mega Berry. I said that name correctly. Alright, there's Thunderbolt. Alright. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out to do some insight here. Alright, so so my low tick is there's there's gradual switching. Yeah, I think Skyrim was really smart in doing the, the spikes. But for Pablo's sake, I kinda wish that though that Pablo did it uh, at the beginning of the match instead of near the end. He had to lay down, I think, a last layer of spikes. It did ultimately help him. Alright. Now Repertory knows not to knock out Houndoom. Porygon 2 is paralyzed. Yep! Alright, one more surf, and this should be it. This this should be the determining surf. Right? Yes! Alright! Porygon 2 has fainted. There we go! Now, it's a, now a lot of activity is going to happen from here on. Um, Flygon might do substitute. There we go. Earthquake. Earthquake's not good enough to, to hit my low tick. Alright. Uh ooh, I think I think Houndoom should have should have been there to kind of neutralize my low tick. With Des Destiny Bond. GG! Alright, congratulations to Repertory for winning the tournament. GG, congratulations. Congratulations for winning my tournament. Or, not my tournament, but, <laughs> but the tournament uh, that, that, the, that, that I attended. So you can check me out by this match. There you go. And all right, I'm not e egotistical, so I'm not going to play my match. And with that being said, 
This is the Roar Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment or subscribe to my channel, like or dislike the content that you see here. And thank you so much for watching the very first tournament that I signed up for. That was automated. The, this is the first tournament that, that I've ever signed up for that thought it's automated. So, yeah, it's been a pleasure covering the tournament. And this is the Roar Rogers News Channel. Playing on fast, accurate, unbiased, Roy Rogers News. And congratulations, uh, Repertory.